Hey guys, hope y'all all had an amazing summer. Mine was awesome. Um, I've done a ton of things this summer and I still have more things I'm doing this, uh, the end of this year. So lots of traveling and um, I will be announcing a couple of my trips soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, sorry, my eye just started watering. I don't know what it is today with my watery eyes um okay anyway uh this video is going to be more of a bronzy look um i know summer is pretty much gone but it is still hot outside where i live so i feel like i still have to do summer makeup um fall has not hit us yet so anyway i uh, hope you enjoy this video and stay tuned for more Okay, so first things first, primer. Always use a primer before you do anything. Um, I'm going to be using the Hard Candy Perfecting Sheer Primer. Um, this one is really good for minimizing fine lines and pores. I absolutely love it, so it works out for my skin. Next off, I will be taking the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Liquid Foundation, and um, I'm using the NYX Stay Matte Not Flat Foundation only because the Infallible, I got it, and it was a little too orange for me, so I took the NYX one and mixed those two colors together, and it worked out. Um, I'm also taking an e.l.f. brush. This one has different size bristles on it, so it's a really good blending brush. I would definitely suggest getting that. Um, so you're just going to kind of rub it in everywhere. I'm rubbing it in my neck, too, um, just so it blends out everything. Now I'm taking the Maybelline Master Concealer. Um, this is the lightest shade um, they had. So I, there might be one that's a shade lighter, but... They were out of it, so I got this one. Um, th most of this stuff I'm trying out. It's pretty new, actually. I haven't been using it very long. Um, so just going to take my Beauty Blender and blend it out under my eyes. I did not dampen my Beauty Blender at all, so um, it's okay if you don't. I don't, but um, if you do, if you don't, I don't know. It's just whatever. So you can do what you want. <laughs> So just basically taking it and blending it just like that. All right, next off, I'm going to be taking my wet and dry dual foundation and this is a rice powder. So it is very light on the skin and it doesn't break me out. So I'm just taking one of these fat brushes that I found offline. Um, I don't have the name for it and I'm just going to put it all over my face. Um, this is one of my favorite, favorite powder foundations. It covers so well. And you can get it at Sally's or Ulta. So far, that's where I've found mine. Next off, I'm taking the NYX um, Contour Palette. And I'm doing the darkest shade. And that brush is actually from e.l.f. 2. Um, it's an angled brush. So I'm just taking a little bit of this since it's so dark. And just putting it right under my cheekbone blending it in this lighting is just crazy today so I'm trying to figure out just basically blending it in like that perfect now I'm going to be taking the um, two shades that I just pointed at um, and taking another brush it's a little bit bigger and I'm just going to kind of blend that all in together um, I want it to kind of get more of a bronzy look so this um, is going to go all over my face. It's not as dark as the first one that I did. I feel like I'm talking a lot, but I guess I'm supposed to be. <laughs> so basically, you're just going to put that under your cheekbones and on your forehead. All right, so next I'm taking uh, my highlighter, and this will be for under my eyes um, and the bridge of my nose, too. Uh, I mixed um, more of a, I don't know the names of them, they are... One's more of a banana color, and then the other one's more of a light, light, light pink. Um, I like mixing them. I like the color that it makes together. So I'm just putting that under my eyes and the bridge of my nose and my chin. So this is a great, great highlighter. I love this contour palette so much. <laughs> I'm pretty obsessed with it. Um, next off, I'm taking the Palladio blush. That one is, I think, it's more of like a rosy color. Um, this is more for darker skin, so if you're light-complected, I would not use this color. Um, 
I would use more of a lighter pink. So I'm just taking that, putting that on the apples of my cheeks and kind of going upward. Uh, okay, so next off I'm taking the NYX eyeshadow base. This is absolutely amazing. This is the second time that I've used it. Um, this makes my eyeshadow stick so well. Um, I definitely will not be using um, just any other regular primer. This eyeshadow base is amazing. So just kind of putting it all over the eye. Made my eyes water. Um, next off I'm taking the NYX. This one is one of their lighter shades. It's more of a creamy color. Um, I'm taking one of these blending brushes that I found from Walmart actually. And I'm just going to be taking that in the crease and just kind of going one chilled wiper motion back and forth. Um, just adding a little bit of brightness to the eye. Next off, I'm taking my Coastal Scents um, palette. This is more of a nude color, um, more of like a nudish brown. So I'm going to be taking that, putting that right in the crease and a little bit on the lid. I don't want to go as high up as I did with that other color. Um, so basically just blending it in right there, kind of on the outer corner of my eye. Just like that. Okay, so next off, I'm going to be taking, um, again, it's the Coastal Scents, um, and this one is a chocolatey brown, and I'm going to be taking that with a crease brush, and I'm going to go directly to the outer corner and bringing it in just a tad, not too much, um, and then I'm going to kind of extend it down to the lid, just like that. Alright, so next off, I am actually doing something crazy. It's not really that crazy. I'm taking this rose-colored um, eyeshadow from the Coastal Scents palette, and I am going to be putting it right above my crease, um, kind of towards the outer corner of my eye. So just kind of putting it a little bit on top of that brown, too, just to kind of blend it all together. I normally don't do color, so that's a little outside of my box, even though it's very subtle. Um... Now I'm just taking a little bit more of that dark brown color and adding it to the crease a little bit just so it gives it a little bit more depth. I really like some pop, so um, just doing a little bit of that. Alright, so next off, I know I haven't gotten to it yet, but I will be taking a small angled brush and this is basically going to be like my eyeliner for underneath my eye. Um, you're just going to take it and do a really, really super, super fine line underneath your eye um, and this is the dark dark brown so it's going to be used as an eyeliner. I really like how that turned out. So next is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. This is the infallible L'Oreal um, Pure Pigment Eyeshadows and this is the most pigmented thing ever. I am so so in love with this. Um, this is one of their lightest shades. This is a creamy beige color. I'm um, just going to be putting that on the inside corner of my eye. And I get a little crazy with it sometimes. Sometimes I just want to put it everywhere. Um, you could even do it as a tiny bit of a highlighter on your cheeks. Anyway, so I'm pretty obsessed with that. Um, now I'm going to be taking that same angled brush. It's not an angled brush. It's... Um, sorry, my crease brush. And I'm going to be putting that inside my crease just to blend that white together. I don't want it to be super harsh. So basically just blending everything in until it looks decent. All right, now it's time for the brows. I will be taking um, the Salon Perfect Brow Pomade. And this one is the color light brown. I think it might even be the dark blonde one. Um, I will just be putting it right at the bottom of my brows. Um, my brows are pretty thick and dark already, so I don't have to do much with them. Um, then I'm gonna take it and just extend my eyebrows just a little bit towards the end. Um, I feel like they come to a stop, so I'm just kind of extending them a little bit. Um, now I'm taking the Picture Perfect um, Full Coverage Foundation and taking an angle brush, and I'm putting it right under my brows as a highlighter just so it makes it um, super bright and makes my eyebrows stand out a little bit more. I absolutely love that look. Um, so just like that. And then I'm going to be taking one of my eyeshadow brushes I used. Um, I think it was the one that had the um, 
L'Oreal, yeah, it is. It's the one that had the L'Oreal um, Pure Pigment uh, eyeshadow on it. And I'm just going to be taking that and blending that in um, just so it all smooths out and it doesn't look super weird. Um, and I'm just taking a bunch of brushes right now and literally blending them. <laughs> Next off, I'm taking the NYX um, Setting Spray. And I'm not very good at this, but literally barely spraying my face right now. <laughs> I'm really scared of doing that. I don't know why. Uh, now I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal um, Eyeliner Paste. And I'm using an angled, a tiny, tiny, tiny angled brush. And I'm starting from the outside of my eye and just working my way in. This definitely takes some practice. Um, I have been doing this for years now and still have not perfected it. Sometimes it looks good and sometimes it doesn't. Um, it's definitely a lot of practice. And then I go ahead and go in on the inside corner and just work my way to the middle. I know that's kind of weird, but um, start from the outside, then go from the go to the inside and then work your way to the middle and just bringing those lines together. Um, that's what works out for me. But yeah, it really just is all about playing with it and taking the time to do it. So yeah. Okay, so I just finished up with my mascara and added some eyeliner um, in my waterline. I um, am now obsessed with eyeliner in my waterline. Like, this is my favorite. It makes my eyes super intense. If your eyes can handle it, mine waters sometimes, um, but I think now I've done it a few times of getting used to it. Um, this eye's watering today. I don't know why. Um, anyway, so then I just added a light pink lip um, with a... Actually, I used the um, Anastasia nude color I got from California. So I just put that on top of like a um, light pink. So I um, really wanted to be a subtle look since the eyes were more intense. All right, everybody stay tuned. Um, I will be posting uh, July and part of August um, favorites. So I've been doing a lot of makeup shopping lately. And I've found some pretty awesome things. So uh, stay tuned. And hope everybody has a great day.